If you follow this tutorial correctly, you'll be able to have your CSGO sound like this. Here's how you do it. First tap is to access your audioexec.config file. To do so, you head to your Steam library, right click on CSGO, click on Properties. On this tab, click on Local Files and click the button Browse Local Files. Then, on this tab, you click inside the CSGO folder, then inside your config folder. There, you should see your audioexec.config file. If you cannot see your audioexec.config file, then we need to create one. To do so, you right click, head to New, and click on Text Document. Then on this text document, edit it with any notepad software, and then go to File, Save As, write autoexec.cfg, and then save as type as all types. Then click on Save. Then once you head back to your config folder, you have your autoexec. Obviously make sure that your autoexec is saved in the correct spot, which is in your config folder in your CSGO. Then open it up. And now we will create an alias for the Half-Life sounds. To do so, write the following. You write alias plus sound, uh, quotation mark, play, vol, button, slash, button, let's say 19, then 0 0.2. What I have written is an alias for a Half-Life sound inside the CSGO uh, files. Pretty much uh, this part is the creation of an, a new alias. And this sound part can be called whatever. You can call it button, or you can call whatever you name you want, but we'll keep it as sound. This is the directory to the exact um, sound inside the game files. Uh, right here, uh, button 19 is a sound. Down in the description, I've uh, included an entire list of all the different sounds that you can write in here. For example, you can also write button 10, or button 11, you can also write blip2. Uh, I'll allow you to experiment with all these different, uh, the different button uh, names. The last bit is the volume. Uh, if you want it soft in the game, you write 0 0.1, or if you want it very loud, you can go up to 0 0.5. Although a moderate volume is around 0 0.2 to 0 0.3, I suggest to keep it around that level. Once you have finished writing down your alias, changing it up a bit, etc., you can now uh, add new aliases with different sounds. I'll just copy paste uh, some examples that I've already created, which includes here. Uh, I don't mind if you use this as a sort of layout. In a nutshell, um, well, it's the same formula, and then I just messed around with the different button types, etc. Once you have finished writing down all your aliases, it is very important to write this command at the end of your autoexec config file, host underscore write config. Just make sure that it's the last line in your file. Once you have finished writing everything, you just file save, close it up. After you save your config file, and before we load up CSGO, we first have to set a launch option for the config. To do so, you head again to your Steam library, right click CSGO, click on properties, and then click on the button set launch options. In this tab, you write down the following, plus exec, auto exec dot cfg. What this will do is that it will boot, uh, it will load up the config file every time you boot up CSGO. You click OK, and then load up CSGO. Once you load up CSGO, just head into an offline match and then open up your developer console. Inside your console, just write down alias, and you will see an entire list of all the aliases that you've written. If you have done this correctly, you should be able to see every single one, and that confirms that it's inside the game. To use these sounds, pretty much you have to bind them into your keys. Uh, as an example, uh, I want to bind sound into my end key. To do so, I write bind n then plus sound, right? Then every time I press M, it will make a sound. I can press this as much as I want, and that's how it works. Now, let's say I want a sound to play every time I switch to my knife. To do so, um, I need to bind the sound into my slot three. So what I have to write is bind three, uh, slot three, semicolon, plus, uh, plus sound. And then after that you close it, the quotation mark, and now every time I switch to my knife, 
it will play the sound. And if you just follow the same procedure, you should be able to do this with anything. As an example, every time I press tab, it has a sound playing, if you can hear it. This also includes uh, when I press my slot 4. Uh, I have no grenade, but yeah. So yeah, you can kind of do this with anything, really. When I press buy, it plays another sound. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you misspelt anything or the text was too small to see, I copy pasted everything I wrote in the tutorial in the description down below. Again, thank you.